back at her again with another video. It's a long time no see. For those of you new, this is my 2017 F350 and my 2018 PJ uh, 44 foot. It's got uh, one and a half 30,000 pound axles. Um, I tell you, it's a wicked trailer. If you're wondering why I'm saying one and a half, we had a bearing failure. Now, these Dexter 16,000 pound axles have actually been wicked. I've been using them tons of weight probably put about 110,000 kilometers on them without a single hitch. Now, bad that it failed. Probably should have kept an eye on it more, but I was getting spoiled. I was getting spoiled by these axles not giving me any trouble, not producing any heat. They were so solid that I got comfortable. I got lazy. Stopped changing the oil on them, which is something I like to do because, well, dirt gets in there. I stopped checking the temperatures. And that is when a failure happened. So. This never separated from the trailer, luckily, thank God. I saw the smoke, I'm always checking my rear view mirrors. Pro tip, if you're towing something, keep an eye on your rear view mirrors and save a life. Now, this is what happened. So, some things do look a bit messed up, but nothing looks uh, not salvageable. I think, think the axle is gonna be able to roll again with some new bearings. Yeah, it looks like the outside bearing failed. It's no big deal, this trailer had to go in for a commercial inspection anyways, the hubs had to come off, um, the brakes had to be done, it's gotta go into a shop. Unfortunately, these are the circumstances. Anyways, in today's video, as you can tell by the title, it is about how to chain up your axle properly. Once again, I like to lead by, not example, but how not to do things. Don't do this, that's very bad, okay? That is just barely on there. Anyway, so I got that there. That seems to be the strongest point. And then I got this one. You'll wrap a chain around the back of the hub behind your brakes. Um, sometimes, you know, it's just when the wheels come off or the studs break and you, you actually have a hub left there. That's great to chain up. But if you don't, go over the springs, underneath the axle, and up over the spring again, and then up. I don't have that done. Once again, I'm going to show you guys how not to do it. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking it'll hold, so we're gonna send it like this, but this is this video is just gonna be to show you guys that this is possible, this is something you can do. Now the legality of it depends on where you are, and obviously the officer. I don't recommend going like this for very long. Doing this, using this method, should only be used to get you out of a jam. If you're like, if you're on the side of the road, you want to get off the road, you want to get to the next exit. Guys, the side of the highway is very dangerous, so stay there for as little time as possible. This is what I did. At first, I just had this chain here. Now, it would have been better to put it onto the rub rails. Sometimes there's places up underneath the trailer to hook a chain onto, like this one here I got. I got this spot. My old trailer had great places. You could actually uh, tie it up around the I-beam, which was always nice. But where this one, the I-beam comes flush, see that black strip, that is the I-beam. That's not gonna work, so this one, I just have it hooked on to a cross member there, which is probably a dumb idea, but it seems to be working. And usually, the proper procedure, first of all, loosen your lug nuts. In this case, I took the whole hub off because the bearings, there was just actually nothing holding the hub onto the axle anymore. So I was able to just lift the entire hub off. But usually what you would do is you're going to grab your jack, your bottle jack. If you don't have one, get one. Nice nice uh, 10 ton. It's always good to have a nice heavy bottle jack. Now, I usually like to put it on the bolts. So, see those little bolts nubs sticking down? Sticker on there somewhere. That will get you the best results. Jack it up as high as you can. Get your wheel and tires off. So, all 10 lug nuts. Me, I just lifted the whole hub off. That sucked. Then what you're going to do, you're going to run your chains and your binders. If I have to explain to you how to do that, you should look for a different business to get into. So you just chain her up. And then, once you get it all tight, you let down your bottle jack, and you're good to roll. That is, that is the proper procedure. Now I, would have now, I would have filmed it on the side of the road, but I didn't want to risk mine and my girlfriend's with me. I didn't want to risk our lives to film a YouTube video 
it's not a complicated thing but now it's pretty easy to figure out how to chain up an axle now i'm going to show you that you can actually drive on it just what it looks like going down the road i guess because it's it can be kind of sketchy but i've had to do it before with my old trailer a bit i'm certainly no virgin to chained axles and try and slide it. I tell you, we have slid in the back. Oh, he's moving. Oh, God. <laughs> Beautiful starry night. We're about 100 kilometers into the trip. Just see how everything's doing. Oh. That's still hanging on there. Looking good. 100 and something kilometers into the trip. A couple hundred more to go till we get home. I did put two chains on it. I have, but I have no idea how that one's staying there. But uh, no complaints. All right, first delivery is done. Dropped off that skid. Dropped off like a giant pole looking thing. And uh, now it's just to deliver this F-150. So what it seems like we're dealing with is a total bearing failure. I'm not sure what caused it. Maybe the bearing just had enough. Now I put a lot of kilometers on this trailer so I wouldn't be too mad about it. The trailer actually needs to go in for commercial inspection so it's not the end of the world. Shit happens. Let's take this apart, see what it needs, see what bearings it needs. Hopefully the axle is salvageable. We'll be able to order what we need and hopefully be rolling again next week. Well, well, well. Okay. We're not taking the nut off for now. Oh, I can only imagine how many truckers peed here. Now, I wish I knew the parts of a trailer a bit better. This is the oil seal. This is the, I think it's the main bearing. There's another bearing here. It's the outside bearing that failed. Really, it might only be just change the bearing and we're good to go. It's crazy though. It looks like, uh, it looks like the metal actually melted. Um, I caught it right away, so there was still oil. It looks like I'll be able to get away with just the bearing kit, which I mean, let's face it, it doesn't hurt to do the bearings on a trailer anyways. Now I think we're in good shape. I'm gonna get the bearings ordered. Um, let's uh, look at the hub, because that might be messed up. Now I wouldn't really mind the hub being messed up either, as long as the axle is good, it's repairable. Just hopefully the hub, hub is good, because that'll be an extra freaking five or six hundred dollars probably. For those of you wondering, that is Max the dog. He's a good boy. He likes licking the lens. Sit. No. Sit. Okay, so I'll be real honest with you guys here. I don't really know what I'm looking at. It's been a while since I've had a hub off a trailer myself. I know that there's a bearing that's supposed to go here. I'm not sure if this is the outside of the bearing or if 
it is the hub itself. It looks a little messed up, but I don't know if it's out of spec. I mean, this race here looks like it's still there. I don't know, it looks, it looks messed up, but it looks fine. Like nothing a bit of sandpaper couldn't fix. So I think that's one bearing, and then the inside is whatever. I was really taking the reliability of this trailer for granted. But overall, I'd say the hub's good. I think, I think this outside race here is salvageable. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is still good. This is a good lesson as to why you should always pay attention to the to your mirrors look behind you make sure that nothing is going weird back there whether it's other drivers or your own equipment um, you know you want to make sure that nothing's flying off the trailer you want to make sure that everything's secure your tarps are good there's no hanging straps and of course if you get a blowout or you get uh, axle malfunction like this you know about it right away before you kill anyone because an, a hub like this let me tell you guys a secret this hub, this hub, I actually pulled off just like that. I didn't have to remove any nuts. I removed the entire unit, tires and everything, right off the axle. So that was this close to just coming off and getting sent down the highway. So guys, if we learn anything from this, pay attention to what's behind you. It happens. I mean, people lose hubs. It happens. Two, like a big three, four hundred pound tractor trailer unit wheel unit just goes flying down the road people people die over that so definitely a lesson learned gonna have to really keep an eye on these axles so that's what happened so i hope this video helped i hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful and if you're just here to watch me screw around with broken things like i'm sure most of you are i hope it was entertaining the paddle shifters i got more of those ready i can ship them doing another order this week so if you want some of those uh, you email me, I'll put the email on the screen, um, and I'll get some more of those sent out to you guys. That's it for me, guys. If you like this video, you know the drill. I hope you did. You guys, you guys have a good day.